Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Metal City. Just taking a look at our beautiful skyline here with our little apartments and everything. Ooh, looks nice. Looks nice. I like it. We're going to start off this episode, as usual, by addressing some of your concerns. Roofs. <laughs> you guys mentioned a lot of roofs. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I guess we could put roofs on there, but, like, I don't think it fits in. Like, that, that doesn't look right. Those roofs look more for, like, little housing, not, like, tall apartment complex housing, because that's what we got going on. Like, that just doesn't, uh... Like, does that do it for you? I don't think it does it for me. I don't know. I think they look better without. Feel free to change my mind, but you probably won't. And I was trying to avoid it. I was trying to avoid it, but I knew someone would bring it up. I know I know that there's a land block there. I really didn't want to have to rebuild this bridge, but once, once you point it out, it's got to be dealt with. So we're going to do that. We're going to blow that away. <laughs> and rebuild the bridge. Massive, massive waste of materials. Totally unnecessary. But it is literally the only earth block left in this whole aqueduct. And aside from, like, this corner edge here thing. So, yeah, fine. Fine. Okay. Okay, you got me. You got me. I was trying to avoid it. <laughs> Another issue that's been brought up is uh, scrap metal. Uh, a couple of you have mentioned that because we have, we have a bunch of scrap metal piles over here. And we could build temporary camps to, to go after it. Now... I do keep mentioning that we are lacking metal production, but it's the production of metal that's lacking. Like, if you look, we have plenty of scrap metal. So much so that if you watched it during some of the time lapses, a lot of times it starts to stop spinning. If the wheel stops spinning, that means it's not grinding metal or not getting new metal. That's because this, I watched it for a couple of days because it was brought up and the scrap metal actually fills up and then all the workers leave and transfer scrap metal instead of continuing to work, even though this is a priority by haulers. So what that it's really saying is that we have plenty of production of scrap metal. We just don't have enough smelting of the metal so trying to make work camps to do more scrap metal doesn't really do anything for us and i can already hear you i can hear you i know i'm i'm far away i'm a whole whole screen away from you with a bunch of tubes in between but uh i can hear you just build more smelters well that's problematic right these smelters are running off these two engines each of these engines is using 24 logs per day <laughs> that's a lot each maple only produces 30 logs in 30 days okay so to build more smelters we would have to create another engine plus more smelters obviously the smelters themselves also use more logs and because the smelters use logs and scrap metal and produce metal blocks that's three separate ingredients so in order for the productivity to be high, I have to make it a priority by haulers. So if it's a priority by haulers, then we also need haulers on the back end. They got to bring logs to the engines. They got to bring logs and scrap metal into the smelter. And they got to take the metal blocks away. Because if they're not doing that, then the worker has to do it. And if the worker's doing it, then the worker's not working. And there's no point in having the smelter and having the engine running. That's, that's just this. Step one, step one to this whole process is just that. But in addition to that, we have somewhere that we need the logs from, which means we need a forester and we need lumberjacks. And for the lumberjacks to be effective, like fully effective and not be carrying logs themselves like this guy's doing right here, right? Like he's going, who's that? Corn? Corn the beaver is carrying logs because there's no hauler to carry the logs for him. And so for... A forestry area to be super effective, that needs to be marked for haulers also. Which means you have more haulers, and more haulers, and more workers, and more people. And at the end of the day, we just can't support that many workers. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, that's what it comes down to. And you can tell that because this is not cleared away. We have storage that's not full. We only have 2,500 logs in storage right now. So we're keeping up with what we got, but we're not, we're not on top of it. We're not clear cutting everything. Like this could have been completely clear cut if there were more haulers carrying logs. So my point is that every single smelter that we add, just it adds a lot more labor underneath it. It's just not, it's not as simple as, well, just add one more smelter. 
in order to fully use the engines, which are burning logs, which are supported by a massive industry of forestry beavers, we need to make sure that those smelters are operating as efficiently as possible. In order to do that, we need lots of haulers, and the haulers are doing a lot of things. <laughs> Man, they're doing a lot of things and we just, we don't, the more strain we put on them, the less efficient every single other industry gets. So that, that was my, that was Moro's rant for why, uh, going after the, the scrap metal at the ruins has no point to it. <laughs> Cause we, we have, it, we have enough scrap metal production. We just, we don't have the labor force to smelt all the metal. That's the main issue. And we, we can't, we can't, we can't raise our population. That's not an answer because we literally don't have the water support, water production for it. 200 is where we're at. If we go above, if we go above 200 population, we really, we risk, we risk our colonies collapsing. That's all. That's, 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 that's the whole thing. <laughs> if someone's got an answer for, for, for this problem, feel free. But otherwise we're kind of, we're kind of stuck. We're kind of stuck with what we got. That's also why efficiency is so important. Distance of storage to running to places, why it matters so much. If the haulers and workers are spending less time running materials and doing stuff, then they, they can do more stuff, more other stuff. I, I don't know. It's just... That's where we're at. Alright, so for this episode... <laughs> <laughs> now that we got all the ranting out of the way, uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get rid of these tanks here. We're gonna uh, the goal the goal here is to remove all the temporary tanks that we got all over the map, because then we can actually do stuff, you know. So we're gonna get rid of these ones. I don't really care about the ones over here all that much. The real prize would be getting rid of this lot, but that's a lot of tanks to get rid of that I don't we don't have room for right now. So that's gonna have to wait. <laughs> but once these are empty. We might do another little uh, housing block over here, and uh, then that would actually allow us to get rid of the rest of the other apartments. Plus, it'll look cool in the skyline, and uh, that's the most important thing. <laughs> as far as an update on our water survival situation, we have 49,000 water. Our middle tank is empty. Uh, back tank is not empty, and we're slowly pumping it with the small amount of pumps that we have back there. That concludes our water update. <laughs> oh, and we have uh, 16 days left out of our 50-day drought. So, I mean, we're making it through these pretty, pretty, pretty smooth. Uh, although, the last one doesn't really count because it was a 9-day drought. I mean, 9-day uh, wet season. And if it's a 9-day wet season, it's like, it's just, it's just bank. It's good. If every, if every single one was a 9-day, uh, it'd be fine. I wouldn't even worry about water. That's not true, but... <laughs> a little bit. There you go. Are you happy? Are you happy? <laughs> Put it this way, just... <laughs> okay. These back tanks are almost full. That's good. That's good. I, uh... I wasn't happy when these weren't full. Because these are... These, these end up filling last. So really, it's just like... I don't know. We want them full. They get filled last and they get taken from last. So these are like reserve tanks at this point. So I kind of want them just filled up and left alone and not worry about it. Should probably get rid of these tanks too. Just, just cause, just cause it'll, it'll look, I don't know. Cause they're like sitting there empty and it bothers me that they're empty. You know, that's some sad looking housing. <laughs> it was cool when we did it, but that was, man, that was eons ago. Our colony was a different place, man. I'm actually going to, I mean, these aren't going to be perfect, but I'm going to throw down uh, some monuments. Mostly because we lost the bonus. I mean, it's kind of a big deal and it's free, so we should really have it. Uh, I'm going to put it here just because everyone's going up and down these stairs. And uh, I think eventually it'll sit, those will sit in our promenade. We're going to make one. Also, I was thinking about the promenade. I mean, basically my, my original idea was obviously, I mean, for, if we metal platform the whole thing, there's going to be platforms going this way and that could be the promenade in the middle. But I was also thinking that the promenade could be on ground and could just be like this greenery area here so then like you'd have the metal city above and then the green area here and then just tanks all around but i'm not sure if that would look good or not also the whole thing is not green so that would kind of not be ideal <laughs> i guess <laughs> we got enough extra housing get rid of one barrack somebody was sleeping inside who that alligator <laughs> you little baby <laughs> Uh, sorry to wake you up. 
All right, these tanks are empty, so we get to get rid of more temporary tanks. My favorite thing now is just getting rid of getting rid of temporary tanks. They've been they've been a huge huge part of our colony, and I'm not happy with what kind of part that was. <laughs> now I was also looking; like a lot of these are still empty, so I think I mean we might we might be able to get away with uh, emptying out more. I'm a little worried about emptying too many though. Also, I just want to address, uh, I, I thought, I thought about blowing this out right now. Like, when I was doing that, like, I didn't put warehouses underneath, because there's no, because I was like, well, maybe I should blow it down and then put warehouses. Uh, a lot of these roads are being used by beavers, and <laughs> if we blow this out without platforming on top, uh, we don't have anywhere to put roads. So it would kind of be a big, bit of a big problem, because <laughs> they couldn't get places. So that's partially why this is left. This, this whole trench is just, this is going to be here a while just open like that because uh all our metal is going to go into platforming the industry area first so I don't, I don't really know i'm not sure what my point was that's what i guess my point is that that's why this is this is this is staying as it is for now so i just realized this area is not green so we can't actually do like housing like we did over here like with trees and stuff so this would be not ideal for housing unfortunately What's really sucks is that this area would be green if it wasn't for this like rocky thing. But if we remove that, then this pass is no longer a mountain pass. So I don't want to remove it for that reason. Is that <laughs> is that a terrible reason? It's a good it's a good reason for me. I don't know. I had a rather dumb idea, the best kind, <laughs> uh, and that requires us getting up to a uh, little mountain area up here. I I think it'll work. I think my idea will work. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We're going to empty these tanks out, too. Those are, like, super temporary. And so they're super not necessary. <laughs> Let's... We're going to move those. I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to put... I want to see how far the roads go. I want to see if they reach all the way. Mm, they mostly do. I might extend the housing. Even though it's not green over here. That might be okay. Like, it's part of the skyline. It'll just... If it, if it goes all the way out, I think it'll just look nicer. Plus, we need more housing. If we finish that out, we'll actually be able to delete all those guys. All right, that's what I've come up with. I'm going to plant some blueberries over here because that's the last green area. And I'm trying out this little triple triple situation. See how that looks. Not sure if it will look good. And we have a little, little, little veranda with benches, which kind of looks nice. I wasn't sure, but uh, I think I like it. I think I like it. <laughs> we'll see. I think the skyline will... I think it'll look nice. I think that's a good... It's a good look. Maybe. I guess if we're doing that, I should put... Like that? Is that... Yeah, that kind of works too. Okay. Step one. Yeah, we're gonna keep blowing this down to the, to the bottom. Alright, that's the last one. So what I'm thinking is... If it works... We put stairs... And those stairs are going to lead to an engine. And that engine is going to lead to something else. <laughs> Plus, that way our mountain pass is actually being used. What do we think? Nighttime housing. <laughs> I, uh, I think the new addition looks nice. It's, man, there's, there's such, a, such a narrow window. Because it's like, they don't go to bed until it's like, late, and then it's basically morning again. It's very frustrating. But, whatever. Because I, otherwise the lights aren't on. But still, I think expanding it to the right was, that was a good move. I think it looks better. Also, some of you might have been eager. Eager to get a free drink out of me. But we got, we got peoples that are watching my back. We got, we got the back, the, the drink watchers. The, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Several of you commented and were like, did you mark the new maples? There you go. Although they, they were, they, <laughs> I think that's a drink because they're already grown and they have maple syrup. I guess it has been a while since that happened. So, uh, that's a drink, but it's marked now. <laughs> All right. The engine is built and we're going to do a little tourney thing. Make that high priority for building. And I guess they can't reach that. Uh, Okay, they can reach it now. We're going to wait for that to build for a second. All right, the build is built. And okay, so we get rid of the road. And I don't know if you can see where I'm going with this. Why would we need power over here? <laughs> We're finally going to do a carousel. Woo! 
I didn't know what to put here. The housing, I, I mean, I was going to do housing, but it just doesn't, uh, there's no green space to do trees and stuff. But we can, we can stick a carousel. I mean, it's not going to look great. It's not like a whole theme park thing, but I think I'm putting too much pressure on myself to make a perfect looking carousel situation. And really, we just need to drop one. So there it is. It's down. We're happening. We're going to turn this engine on, make it a priority by haulers. That's going to be a massive waste of logs just to run one carousel, but it's there. So beavers can enjoy themselves. Maybe we can even do a little beaver situation to entryway, do a couple of benches, and maybe do a couple of that. Hey, we finally have a carousel, so you, people can stop mentioning it. <laughs> also, I have no idea where to put it, and that it needs an engine. So, like, it's very, it's a, it's a very awkward build to put it somewhere because it it always needs a, a stupid engine because it takes it takes one engine all on its own. You know, but I think that's all right, especially at some point, these smelters aren't going to be here. So that'll at least make it nicer, better -er, something -er. I added some more things overnight. Does that look nice? I don't know. Looks all right. Maybe this part doesn't look great. How about that? That's fine. Hey, hey, look at it spin. Look at, wait, why does not have a road access? District center by paths. Oh, I deleted the road. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good reason. All right, it's connected again. We're good. We good. We good. Look at it spin all empty. Come on, somebody get on. Where are the kids at? No? All right, we're just just burning logs for no reason. That's great. Love it. Love it. <laughs> we could delete these tanks now. Yeah, yeah. And I want to talk for a second about what we're going to do over here. So the platforms actually very happily, uh, they line up very perfectly with this line. So if you put the next row of platform will go like right here, which means that obviously we got to delete the storage over here, these two storages. But because it lines up so great, we can actually take this whole storage lot up to more levels. And then the storage will actually line up with the platforms on top. And so the storage will go all the way from the platforms all the way to the basement down. And I think, I think that'll end up looking pretty cool. We'll find out once we have more platforms. But that's kind of, that's kind of what I'm thinking over here. Oh, we have our first rider. We have our first rider. Who is it? Who is it? Who's riding? Bridges are big. Bridges are big and we have a second rider. Who's that? Dre's fancy boy. <laughs> Dre's fancy boy's riding. Look, okay, go ride with him. Wee. <laughs> wonder if I tilt the camera. Oh my God. Oh God. That made me dizzy. <laughs> I don't know if that did that for you too. Uh, but I bet if I aim the camera like behind them, it'll actually roll around with it. But that's probably going to be very nauseating. Uh... So I'm not going to do that. So I was just looking at the industry area and thinking, and my original plan was to basically wait until we had like a ton of metal and delete the entire industry and then just platform like immediately after and rebuild it on top. But now that I'm like staring at it and thinking about it, I don't think that's going to be possible because that would require that would require 6,000 metal. If I did the math right, whatever. And that's just a really, really long time to wait without being able to do anything else. So basically, I'm trying to decide if a good plan to temporarily move the industry and start like blowing this whole area down. Because that's the real problem. The real problem is like, I'm not sure we have enough storage for all those materials to wait for all that. And then once we have those materials, we'd have to blow this whole area down and build everything up. And then we'd have to rebuild the industry. And then in the meanwhile, like we would not have any production of anything. And that sounds kind of like a bad idea. That, that doesn't sound like an effective plan. So we might temporarily need to rebuild our industry. All right, in the event that we need to do that, I'm gonna empty these storages. Because right now, if we were to pick a place to put the industry, this is, this is basically it. There's not really anywhere else to go. This is, uh, this is all we got. Plus, these are temporary tanks, and we should get rid of them. Some of these are empty. I could just delete them, I guess. But instead, I'm choosing to empty them for some reason. Because I like clicking buttons. All right, those are set to empty. We have room. These These have not even been touched yet, like as far as getting filled. So we have plenty of room for water, at least for now. <laughs> Trademark. So we're going to do that. And actually, actually, if we're looking at, looking at the day marker, what time is it? <laughs> Come on. What time is it? It's montage time.
And that's the end of the wet season, and we did not get more water in the back tank, unfortunately. But it is what it is. The only question now is, how long of a drought do we have? 42 days. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. No big deal. While the wet season was going on, these tanks got emptied, so now we get to delete all the tanks. More temporary tank deletion. That's a drink. Hey, <laughs> morning drink. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's looking nice, huh? So, what are we gonna do here? That's the real question. Well, I guess to start out, we should clear this out. Uh, because it's kind of useless now. So if we if we blow that down, I mean the the path. Already goes down over here, so it's not really, like, doing anything for us. Alright, we're gonna blow that out. And we're gonna... I mean, nothing. We're just gonna connect it and it's fine. That's a, that's all. <laughs> that's all that needs to happen there. So I just realized we're in a little bit of a pickle. It's not a negative pickle, but all our water tanks are actually full. And we just had a wet season. So we're going to end up losing a bunch of water to evaporation. I mean, that's not the end of the world because that's not like a, a bad thing. However, it does mean that we should re we, we really need to push up our, uh, our tank building schedule. What I'm actually going to do is delete these food buildings. And I'm going to leave the other ones. And I'm actually going to move them up here because this is where the storage is anyway. So we might as well have them near near the storage. So we need three grills and three bakeries. So we're gonna just stick those there. Those are temporary, but mm, there's not really a but. So one's grilled potatoes, one's grilled chestnuts, spatter dock, basically just one of each. The point is one of each. And once those are built, we can possibly consider moving the entire industry over here and start blasting down and building more tanks. I think that's that's the next big move. But aside from that, I love you guys. I'm Moro. Like the video. Subscribe if you're not. And I'll catch you guys next time.